Hello, I'm David Tipling and today I'm in my garden and I'm setting up a bird feeder and a perch and I'm going to try and photograph garden birds in flight using a little bit of magic in my Olympus camera. And that magic is a feature called Pro Capture. And this video is all about how I use Pro Capture. And then Claire's going to take over and she's going to show you exactly how to set Pro Capture up in the menu of your camera. Pro Capture is best used when you know a subject is going to do something, but you can't predict when. Like this sparrowhawk taking off. So, how does Pro Capture work? When you depress the shutter button halfway, the camera continually takes images, storing them in a buffer, like a temporary memory. When you fully depress the shutter button, up to 35 images in this temporary memory are saved, and the camera then continues to capture photographs. This robin was so quick in landing and taking off that by using Pro Capture and focusing on the handle, I got loads of great shots every time the bird took off or landed. There are two Pro Capture modes to choose from, high or low. In low you have continuous autofocus. In high you have to focus on a point and stick with it. I use high because the camera is taking frames at 60 frames per second as opposed to 18 in low. So I'm just getting a lot more choice. I'm just looking for those perfect wing positions and that perfect composition. And finally, here's an explosion of knot photographed at Snettersham using Pro Capture High. And now it's over to Claire. Claire will take you through how to set Pro Capture up in the menu of your camera. Thank you so much, David. Your images are incredible as always. To set up the parameters of Pro Capture, you need to press menu, go into custom menu, and down all the way to the C drive menu, which is C1. Within that menu, you'll see L settings or H settings. So you need to set up whichever one is going to be relevant to the Pro Capture you're using. Scroll down to Pro Capture, and in that menu, you will then see three options, which says maximum frames per second, pre-shutter frames, and frame counter limit. I always tend to set the frame counter limit first. And this gives you how many frames there will be in the complete sequence. And if you look at the bottom of the screen, it shows you how many pictures are being shot and buffered before the full press of the shutter. So in this instance, it's 25 frames at maximum, eight before and 17 after. So it's really simple to see how many shots you're gonna take in one go. If you want to set more pre-shutter frames, just use the menu and toggle over. At the moment it's on eight, but we'll say we could go up to 15. Then that would change your pre-shutter frames to 15 and the shots after they fully press the shutter to 10, still 25 in total. And again, it's really about making sure that the frame counter limiter is at the maximum frames for the whole shot. 